Hey guys, it's Crystal Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining. Hey guys, it's me, Crystal Renee. And today I am going to be repotting and separating my rubber plants. And I'm still sick and look a mess, but I thought I should get some footage doing this and show you all what I did. Because this is my first time doing this on film. So bear with me. Let me know in the comments if you see something that I'm doing wrong that I need to correct. And let's get straight into the video. First, I think I'm going to start with her. Okay, I have a plastic bag here. I'm gonna start by breaking them down. Please around the pot and I don't know if you guys can see I'm gonna back up just a little bit you might not be able to see my face but that is fine okay um I think this plant was a bit over watered and the soil on this plant doesn't look good at all. This is how I got brought it home from the store. So it was about time to repot in some fresh soil. This is the look of the bottom. If you all can see that. So I'm gonna gently, as gentle as possible, remove the soil from around her. There is eight in this pot that I have to try my best to separate, so bear with me. I'm just digging from the bottom and around. Because the soil is moist, it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm definitely gonna make a mess and get this all over my floor and I'm gonna end up having to sweep and mop afterwards, but it's okay because my floor needed to be mopped anyway, so this was the perfect time to do this. Okay, it's coming apart quite easy. I don't know if I mentioned, but excuse the way I look. I was not trying to get all did up for this video because this is a messy task. Okay, so we're getting down in there. We're getting there. See, this is how much I've done so far and all these roots. So far, everybody's still bunched in together. Nobody's really separating just yet. Okay. Don't want to rip them apart. Sometimes they have those little sponge things in the middle of these plants. So, I'm not sure if I feel that in the middle or not. Okay. Anybody loosen it up? Anybody? Okay. So I separated the big one. I'm just gonna lay that there. It's like they kind of grown together because they were in the same pot so closely together that the roots kind of entangled into one another. Okay. 
Okay, here's another piece of it. Another little small piece. Has a little root on it. Small little root on that. Another bigger piece. So that's four, five, six. And this is seven and eight right here. Seven and eight. All right. So well, as for this one, sadly, I had just potted this up maybe a few weeks ago, and it's loving its home. And I hate to take it out of its new soil in order to separate it but I really really want to mix the two so hopefully this doesn't disturb its growth because as you can see it really has some new growth going on so let's see I'm going to empty this into here because this soil is fairly fresh I can actually reuse it if I need to Just break it up back into there. Just make it a mess in here. Okay, so I don't know why when I first well, well I do know why. I just repotted it up all together because I didn't have the variegated one at the time, but now that I have her, I'm wanting to mix the two, so This one has a nice little root ball as well. So clearly there wasn't a sponge inside of that plant, like I thought. It was just because all the roots were entangled together. I feel like this one is the same way. This one only has four, so it shouldn't be as tough as that one was to separate. Let's get down into that dirt. It's like I'm literally having to use my fingers to work in between these roots to separate them without damaging the root and without uh, breaking it. So here's one piece. Here's the second piece. Ooh, a smaller piece. And the larger one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to repot the larger one back into this pot. I'm sorry, I thought the battery was dying. So, center it. That looks so good. That's just one. We're here. 
Now I have more soil here. In this mixture of soil that I'm using, I'm just using regular miracle Grow with um, some orchid bark and perlite. <coughs> Excuse me. For drainage. Some of these roots are kind of extreme, but I'm not going to bother them. I'm just going to try my best to center. I like to do this because the soil does tend to sink down once you water. Some people say they only do over the at the to an inch from the top so that it doesn't overflow, but I've come to learn that the soil does like to sink down, so I rather have it a little high up for that first water. All right, so I'm going to set these both to the side. Don't they look good? I think they look good. How does that look, guys? I think that looks good like that. because I have so many of these I'm not going to keep them all I'm probably gonna keep these three and maybe sell or do a giveaway with the rest of these so if you're interested in purchasing or maybe doing a plant swap I have yet to do a plant swap I'm interested in doing a plant swap with any of my plant friends who may be interested. And if I do sell these, I would prefer it to be locally because I really don't want to have to mail things unless I charge for shipping as well. I don't mind if you guys pay for your own shipping. But if I have to pay for the shipping again, I don't know if it's so worth it. Okay, so... I think that looks okay together. What do you guys think? Because these are so small. I'm thinking about putting all three of these together. That's my daughter. You guys hear in the background. Yeah. 
and my birds, of course. Jay and Yay. Okay. This little root is pretty long. I really don't want to. I'm supposed to do this with scissors, but I'm gonna just break it. I know that's bad, but I didn't have any scissors near me. So. But it will be okay, because it has plenty of roots. So I like to use my two fingers to press around the stem to secure it. Okay, so with these three being in a pot together, I think they look fairly decent. Everybody is nicely potted up. Gonna give everybody some water. Water. Because the soil on this one is already moist, I'm just gonna water it just a tad bit to let it settle, to not be so loose at the top. Cause I don't wanna over water it. So this is the end result. I have the mixture of the two. I have four in here. I have my ruby variegated all by itself. I think I've learned the name of this one. This is my robust all by itself. So those are the three, those are the three that I will be keeping in my home. And these three, this is another Ruby, pink ruby, variegated one. You guys, I am quite new to this, and how much would you pay for this? Put that in the comments below. 
if you were to purchase this, how much would you pay for this? Same for these two. How much would you pay for this? This one is actually a mixture of the two as well. So you get two and one, but there's only two in there. This one carries three stems, but it's all of the ruby variegated version. So yeah, comment below how much you will pay for these. Or if anybody is looking to trade, I am willing to trade. Let me know in the comments below what you are willing to trade for. Or if you feel I should do a giveaway, Matter of fact, I am going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll. So you guys need to check out in my community tab when my poll pops up. I'm going to leave a poll of if I should do a giveaway or if I should do a plant swap or if I should sell these. I will do that poll on my Instagram and I will do it also in the community tab here on YouTube. So, yeah. Well, as you can see, I have a lot to clean up. My kids are calling. That concludes this video. Until next time, happy growing. Bye. Hey, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. And give this video a thumbs up and click the bell so you'll never miss a post. And until next time, bye.